What happens when ideas feed on other ideas? Not through open dialogue, but through subtle assimilation, when originality becomes nutrient for replication. This is not a moral question, it's an ontological one. In the ecosystem of thought, parasites are not exceptions. They are structures of reproduction. Ideas live, mutate, and compete for hosts, minds, institutions, audiences. Some minds generate, others metabolize. The parasite thrives, not by destroying its host, but by becoming indistinguishable from it. In the age of networks, appropriation has become the highest form of adaptation. Every idea carries within it attention to express and to be expressed. The parasite exploits that tension. It turns visibility into validation. It doesn't just steal the content. It steals the function. Who gets to speak? Who gets to define? Who becomes the origin and collective memory? Thus, appropriation is not imitation. It's ontological substitution. Within our intellectual ecology, certain archetypal figures recur. The mimetic appropriator, who metabolizes originality into network currency. The institutional launderer, who converts subversive insight into if language. The hidden consumer, who witnesses originality but leaves no trace. Together, they constitute what I call the epistemic parasite complex. The invisible metabolism of contemporary thought. Parasitism is not only theft, it's transformation. The parasite redefines the lineage of thought. It rewrites ancestry. That is why original thinkers often disappear from history. Not because they were wrong, but because they were assimilated. The parasite does not kill ideas. It reincarnates them under a new name. To diagnose is not to accuse. To name the parasite is not to feed it, but to see it. When you recognize the pattern, you step outside of it. True originality is not possession, but radiance, that which continues to unfold despite appropriation. In the end, the parasite is proof of life, only what lives can be fed upon. To be imitated, rebranded, assimilated, is the sign that the idea breathes. The task of the original thinker is not to silence the parasites, but to keep unfolding, to remain the inexhaustible source from which they endlessly, helplessly, must drink.